Yo, this is Ben Paramore from Capra, and welcome to Digital Tour Bus. So in the uh, early 2010s, I was a part of this band called Come and Conquer. There was uh, me on bass, Dave Grafe on guitar, Mikey Powers singing vocals, and uh, Casey LeBlanc drumming. They're all in different projects now. We're all kind of doing our own thing, but they're all great dudes. Very cool band. Well, I got into this band because I worked at a pizza restaurant with Dave. Um, they lost their bassist. And I kind of came in. It was cool. Before then, I was playing uh, more just old school kind of punk rock. This band is the closest that I would ever say I was part of a tough guy, hardcore, just violent shows, just chaos. Um, like, first time I really knew that someone was different was when I started playing the show. And Mikey would just, like, invite the crowd to just beat the crap out of them. It was nuts. But uh, this show took place at this small bar slash cafe called Cafe Cottage in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, we had played a few shows before there, but it's basically set up, it's it's split into two. It's a, one side is like a cafe, one side is a bar, and they have this little stage, and I used to see, I saw shows there for years and years and years and years. Um, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be part of the one, the shows that, uh, that we're going to, uh, Kill shows there, and this is how it happened. We have a bunch of people there. Uh, it's in a bar, so there's a there's there's a bunch of drunk dudes there. Like I said, like uh, this was kind of tough guy. So this is the hardest hitting like crowd that would follow us around that I've ever been a part of. But after our first song, one guy just throws his his beer bottle down in the middle of the pit area, and I'm kind of a softy, so I'm like trying to talk to Mikey like hey man just say something just we want people to have fun we don't want to be a bummer but now this tile floor is slick and covered in glass we don't want people to get fucked up and hurt and that's basically what Mikey says he, he comes down and all right everyone just uh we're gonna have fun still but everyone be aware of all this glass and all this just be careful we don't want anyone to get really hurt just have a good time and after doing his little speech the first the second that uh, Dave starts the next song, Mikey slips himself and lands on the biggest piece of glass with his hand. And he just gets up and he's looking at his hand and it's dripping blood down his arm, right? And like, more blood. He should probably have gone to the hospital. I don't remember if he got... He had to have gotten stitches. I don't remember. But he, instead of like freaking out about it, he's still screaming into his microphone. And then he just starts throwing blood on the entire crowd. He was, he's throwing on us and me and Dave are doing, giving each other small looks. And I think Dave just kind of goes like, so our instruments are covered in blood and we're still headbanging and just pretending like our friend isn't profusely bleeding out on the stage and the crowd is eating it up. They immediately start like circle pitting and it's, it's like a, it's six by six area where you could do So like they're all falling, they're all getting covered in glass. Um, and then, like, they start, like, lining up, and Mikey is taking his bloody hand, and he's, like, it's dripped down to his finger, so he's using it to, like, draw pentagrams and, like, christen people, and it was just nuts. So, by the end of the set, the bar is, like, destroyed, and you could see it in the bartender's face, like... Oh man, poor girl. She uh, she just, they didn't know what to do. They just let the show happen. And they're just like, I don't know what's gonna fucking happen after this. Crowd full of bloody people, kind of stumble out. And on the way out, one person falls through the glass door. <laughs> the final nail in the the, the coffin. Um, the owner kind of just the next day, he just put it on his Facebook. He's just like, all right, well, it was fun while it lasted, but cafe's not doing shows anymore. We have to repaint these walls. And the the door is broken. It's by no mean an endorsement for any kind of like nonsense like that. Be nice to your venue owners, but it's just you just don't expect it. Like that's the kind of show, and we just rip. We just rode with it. Um, yeah, that was the craziest show. I've never been a part before then or since then of a show that shuts down shows at a bar. But turns out, bleeding everywhere and trashing the bar will do it so yo man like i said i'm ben paramore from capra thanks for hanging out see you next time